Either good or bad, we shall resist. Union leaders preparing for what happens to be a new battlefront with the Ministry of Education. Any policy that we have not negotiated, any policy, we shall resist collectively. NAT and COPEC leaders saying the decision by the Ministry of Education to place primary and secondary schools sharing the same land under one head teacher was impracticable. It is our right to be consulted under committee, under what you call the status of teachers, ILO recommendation 1966. The teacher must be engaged, or the teacher must be engaged in policy dialogue. The unionist also expressed concerns of introduction of dewing in national schools. It is important also to, to send this message to Matiangi, more specifically. We appreciate his proactive nature in instituting reforms in education. Those reforms are needed, but they must be consultative. The unionist instead called on the teacher's employer, TSC, and the ministry to refocus their energy on improving schools' infrastructure and narrowing the widening teacher-students ratio. Stephanie Wangari, Citizen, Live at One.